Let's animate this in Procreate Dream. In the last tutorial, we drew this in Procreate, but if you don't want to draw it yourself, just download the source files I included in the description and start animating it with me. In this tutorial, we will learn so much things. I will teach you all the basics for Procreate Dream so you can make something like this by your own. How to move, how to use key points, scale, import, everything you need to know and it will be super easy and fun but if you want to draw it i have a link also for procreate tutorial and you can start drawing there too if you're going to share please share and tag me because i love to see your work it will be super fun and i can share it on my next videos let's start animating so i'm going to start animating by opening procreate dreams i'm going to click the plus button and i'm going to click the white screen and empty and we're gonna click the plus button and click files and import the file you saved or you downloaded from the description. And you should have something like this. So this is called this part the movie. And you see this part is not inside the movie so we will not see it when we will render. So only the middle part is visible and the cat takes all the space. So we're gonna fix it. Also here in the timeline, we can see that we create a project that is five seconds from zero to five. And we have only one file here and I will show you how to fix it. So first what we need to do is you see those dots here. If you click here, you will see dots and you can resize it until you like it. If you will have some of those modes activated, for example, this one, you will not see the dots. So if you don't see the dots, you need to have no modes here. You can use three fingers to shorten the project like so, and you can use two fingers to zoom in and out. You can do the same here with two fingers. So if I will click here and hold, there is convert layers to tracks and it will convert to tracks layers. And we will have all the layers that we worked on in the previous video. So we need to also uh, organize files here. So we have the shadow that is below the box, it's layer eight. And if I will click on it, hold it and drop it here, you see this line, it's important to have this line and also slightly uh, drop it uh, at the other, uh, this side slightly because we need to create it you see it didn't work. So this is still inside. So I will go back and try again. So I'll lines and maybe this time more. You see, oh, I see the difference. Okay, so this line is short, but if I put it here, this line gets big and it says that it is outside of the layers. And this is good. We will do the same with here, but because we already have this layer here, it will automatically not be grouped. So we can put it back. And just to show you that we did correctly, you see, we have the background behind, we have the shadow below, but we have two empty tracks that Procreate Dreams create when we move. So I'm going to just delete them. It doesn't really matter. And as you see, the size are different. So if I will zoom out, the background again is uh, too large. Why is that? Because when we applied the scaling, we did it to the group, to this. And because we moved those files out, now they're uh, not the same size as they were. So this is not a problem because we're gonna click and use those three dots, four dots to zoom in and the same with the shadow. So I will move it here and I will just zoom just a bit until I like it. So this is what we have and it looks very nice. So we have the cat here and inside this folder we have the box, the cat face, um, this is behind the cat, this part, and we have below uh, everything, the shadow and the background. So let's start animating the whole scene in the group. So this file, this layer. So I'm gonna place this here and click on it and click move and click move and scale. Now I will click another place. You see it's gray. I will click again. You see it's gray. I will click again and go to the background, to the last file here, not the end of the layer and click again, just once. 
So why did I did this? Let me use three fingers to make it larger here. Because each of these are key points and I just want them to be the same because I will start editing the first one. So I will click this line and make it large like this and put it on top. The second one, I will click again, but make it very squished and place it where it was. And the other one is the same. Now, if we play, it's too fast. So I will move this one and move this one now. Hop, look at that. Look at that. You see? You can play with this, you can make it uh, the distance larger, smaller, and it will be faster or slower. But I like it how it looks like this. And I can go at the back, three fingers, it's just easier, and then zoom here. This I will click and drag here, um, closer to four seconds, because I want to have a period when the box will be on top and just um, not straight away to fall, you will see. So I will just click here and click here. Now for this one, it will start squishing. So this one we don't touch because this is the default position, but for the other one, I'm gonna squish it a bit. And for this one, I'm gonna stretch it and move it outside. Now let me check if it's too fast. No, it looks very nice. You see the shadow below is not uh, responding to our movement. It's okay. So we're going to click here, click move and scale, and click somewhere here, like so. So we have two points. On the first one, we will make it super small, barely visible. And as the box falls, the shadow gets bigger. But we need to click and make it closer. Let's see. Okay. Not bad. We will do the same at the end. So two fingers to scroll. I will click here, here to, with this icon to move and scale. And somewhere also move and scale here. And maybe again, again, three, we need three. So the first one is default. This one will be when the box is going in the air. Or not, we don't need this one. Okay, so we need two. So we're going to just move this one. Uh, until the box is moving a bit up and this one when it's already out of the frame. So here we'll make it smaller. Nice, but here I need to make it even smaller so it will not be visible. So make it, can we make it even smaller? Yes, we can. Look at that. So let's check it out. Maybe we can move it a bit here and try it again. Yes, but it's too slow. You see, you need to play with it. So I'll make it closer until you are happy with it. I think I will make it a bit closer. Something like so. Super cool. So if this is a five second video. Also, you see that if I'm zoomed in and I play, it only plays the part I'm zoomed in. So to play it completely, I zoomed out. And now I click play and it will play everything. So the cat falls, something happens here, and then the cat flies away. And again, falls, something will be happening here, and flies again. So this is a loop we create. So now let's make it more fun. So I'm going to open the folder and I'm going to add blinking of the eyes. I think it will be super fun. So we click also on the cat and we have the eyes here. So the cat falls and maybe here, I will make the eyes blink. So I'll click this icon, edit and split. Let me zoom to make it as much zoom as I can. Then I click again, edit, split. I can't because it's too close. Maybe I'll move it a bit here. Here I can. Okay, so here if I click, I can hide the eyes and click on the closed eyes below it. So this folder has two different uh, groups of eyes. So let me show you. So if I will go here, let me show you here. So we have the group, the open eyes, and we have under it, the closed eyes. We need to hide this one, see? 
we have two groups and we will just click one show one hide the other show one hide the other and this is how we will get this effect you see it closed the eyes and super fun now let's add the closing of the eyes even farther maybe here yes let me check no it's too close i think let's try again yes i feel like it should be closing their eyes somewhere here so i'm going to click this icon edit split then move just a bit edit split then open the middle one and just hide the eyes and show the bottom eyes nice now let's play it nice 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 now let's add some animation to the eyes so those eyes are open and we need to move those black things so starting from here i will make move move and scale and then i'll just see where i want them to move let's start playing scene again oops okay so we start in play blink and here i want the eyes to move so i'll create another one just in case and here also or no just here and move the eyes to the side click again here this interval will be like when they're looking to the side and not doing anything so oh, it's like a waiting and here we will move them the other side let's check it out mm -hmm. i will click here the gray to make it active key point and then move again and then i will animate it to the bottom make a waiting a bit and then and then here right away i want the eyes to move up because he will sprint up okay so this is what we got up blinking looking looking up and going away and again whoop, whoop, whoop. wow look at that look at that this was super simple and very fun animation so let me summarize what we did so in the beginning we had four um we have those layers inside the folder we have the big folder of the box and inside of it we had the box then we had the cat like this, the cat. And inside the cat, we had the eyes. And the eyes had two position, two styles, open and closed. And the way we did it is just what we hide one layer, show the other one, hide one layer, show the other one. I think we can use this technique to also add a different emotions to the character. So we can draw, for example, different face expressions and then use this technique to show a smiley face and sad or talking face with different mouses and different eyes we will do it in the next video if you like something like that and you want me to make a tutorial for that leave a comment i will make it uh, so for this tutorial i think we're done it, it looks very fun and we learn quite a lot of uh, things with this so we learn how to use key points we lose how, we learn how to use movement scales uh we learn how to import we learn how to uh have different variants inside one file and we don't need to draw redraw them each time so it was super fun if you're gonna do this um, tutorial please share it and i would love to see it so please tag me so i can see it on instagram youtube or send me a direct link it will be super nice and if you want i can share your work on my next videos and it will be super super fun